<laughs> Who plays ZSS? Yeah, do there are very little ZSSs nowadays, but the same thing can be said about Bayo. I think I, I think Bayo's on the come up recently, but definitely has almost equal representation. We're back at Smash 4. Here we go. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we don't see the same thing, but I don't think we will, but it is going to be ZSS versus the Bayonetta in Mars and Death Spade here. See if we can get Mars so far. Get the better end of neutral in the early game. I'm excited because I feel like this is an interesting situation where Death Spade against um, the hero that we saw earlier was able to play neutral a little more freely, but against someone like ZSS, I think it might be a little bit more difficult, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Zero Suit, definitely a character that is quite slippery, just as slippery as Bayonetta. They both are about the same size, honestly. I think ZSS might actually even be a little bit taller than Bayonetta, so. Is that true, actually? <laughs> I don't That's know. I'm crazy. not sure. I'm trying to look. I think uh, the ponytail, maybe. They're jumping around so much. I'm like trying to Ooh. see if they, <laughs> if one of them's yeah, taller yeah. than the other. But they're moving like... too quick. Oh! Mars, though, with a down smash into the down B spike. You love to see that style points from Mars. That was massive. What a good first stock there. And I think that's something that's interesting about Mars' playstyle, right? Is he, he finds the perfect opportunities almost every time, right? especially on the ledge, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Definitely see some edge guards oh! coming from Mars. There's the, the trade. trade. Yes. The up airs on the shield, which twist, and there's the witch time. I think oh. we could have maybe seen a bigger punish. Okay. Holds the A button after that F smash just to get a little chip damage in. Not able to find the, the bullet art up air. Still holding strong, though, in this advantage. Trying to find a kill here, but no back air being given. The forwarder from Mars. Okay. Oh. Up tilt back air. That's a classic. Yep. See that a lot. One of Bandit's strongest kill options. There's a forward air from Mars. Can't find much more, though. Zare, Zare into the grab, but there's a down tilt. That's an option you don't see every day from the Bayonetta, and they're just scrapping right now. Mars, unfortunately, thought the cross-up was coming. Let's the up be rip, but we'll find it again off the ledge. Yeah, pretty good high recovery there from Mars. Able to get back onto the stage. Finds the grab mix-up this time. And 102 in the corner. Death Spade definitely not feeling as comfortable as we've seen in the past. Yeah, and I love the spacing here for Mars as well. We see these Zares coming through. We see the in-place aerials coming through as well. But there's the up tilt and the reverse up air. And the ABK trying to combo off the top. But Mars' SDI is going to be really, really good. Whoa. There's a berry. There's an up B. And your stock is evaporated. Let's go, Mars. Immediately after the, the ABK, too. Like, that was really good timing there for Mars. Yep. And you can definitely see a little bit of that. Maybe Smash 4 PTSD, just the confidence in this matchup is being displayed. Yep, but you see Deathspade fighting back here, keeping the percentages close to the cuff. Has to find this stock, though. That's a difficult situation here to be in. But there's the bats within, getting Deathspade out of dodge. The down air, unfortunately, is the wrong way. And once again, I, we see Deathspade misinputting a little bit here. Oh, wow, yeah. This is such good gameplay here for Mars. Just catching almost all of Death Spade's disadvantage options here. Try to get the spike with the down air, but not able to find it. Death Spade still holding onto this stock. But Mars playing so safe right now. Yep, you see him just holding this. All oh, the movement back and forth a little bit, just baiting out some options. There's a one-two jab, but there's the back air, and Death Spade almost clutching out that kill. It's not enough, though. Edge guard situation. Do we still have flip kick available? No, we have our jump, though. And yeah. That's four throw. That's the four throw, and now feeling pretty good. Okay. Oh, and the reversal it's... fell out of the final hit. Mars not able to find the kill, and Deathspade still has a chance here. Yeah, you see Deathspade looking for these rapid chaps. And once again, that's the third time Mars, but he comes back with a back air. Are we going to see a crazy edge guard? No, we are not. We're electing to hold the ledge trap situation. Deathspade planking a little bit, trying to make their way back to the stage. The Woo! air dodge is given away, and the grab from Mars was whiffed, and the back air comes through for Deathspade. 130 now. The crowd in the favor of Death Spade trying to find the upset here. The underdog story is uh -oh. real. And the upbeat into forward air starts a little bit of that percent. Catches the jump. Uh -oh. And the double upbeat. The not going to kill, but still a good position. Wow, that was scary, though. Yeah, not even close yet here. Mars still alive for now. The back and forth movement. There's the witch twist out of shield. The ABK goes back to center, recognizing the hit was not there. The back out of shield. It's not going to be enough for Mars just yet. Now we have a ledge trap situation. The witch time. We're going to go back to ledge, though. Oh, oh no! Again. Forward tilt's not enough! The timing there from Mars was so good. Not able to find the F tilt on the side B. Still able to snap to ledge. That's Bane's holding onto the stock. And what? the mix up with the up tilt Mars! Up tilt? Was so ready for that dash hit. That was not a move that I was ready for, Archmage. The up tilt scoops him up, <laughs> takes him off the top, and Deathspade played that close to the cuff, but not close enough. Yeah, if you would have told me to guess what move was going to end that set or that game, I don't think I would have said up tilt. I would have said up tilt. Mars surprising us with every tool in the kit. 
Got to use all the tricks of the trade. For sure. And now game one goes to Mars. But I do like that confidence from Death Spade, right? That was almost an amazing comeback. So. Yep. Let's see what can happen in game two here. Death Spade making it look pretty good. Very practiced in this matchup, as you can tell. There's Anair coming through from Mars, spacing out. Looking for a parry, I think, Mars. You see him flashing that shield like, what, maybe 10, 11 times in that situation. Trying to bait out an option from Death Spade. Okay, the downer Ooh. at a disadvantage. Just get off me. I love that mix up there. Mars is feeling so confident right now. Oh, the witch time. Uh, not the witch time. The bats within twice in a row for Death Spade to get out of these combinations from Mars. Parrying the ABK. Not going to lead to much, though. Witch twist into forward air. Some more damage, but no solid connections for either uh, competitor in this moment. I'm feeling as if Mars is really playing this disadvantage really well, right? I'm seeing a lot of really good SDI, but the back air not going to kill. Not only the SDI, but the, using the, the flip kick to get out of those Bayonetta combos has been really smart. Mars forward through Death Spade and ran at him, and then he just get up attacked right away. Okay, a little bit of a side B to snap the ledge. Once again, trying to snipe out that back air. Mars looking for a down smash on the ABK. None of it connecting for now, but the threat is there. For sure, the backers are coming out from Death Spade, trying to find that stock. And the first hit of the forwarder, oh. trying to go for this down B, but not going to kill. And the Xeroff ledge is not going to connect. Mars is trying to find this kill. The rolls are dangerous. Yeah, it's just been back and forth so much. But there we go, the back air from Death Spade finding that first stock onto Mars. This is a good position to be in. But just as I say that, of course, Mars snipes Death Spade out with a back air. Even situation now. Trying to find a combo starter here. Mars playing it nice and safe. Gets the jab as well. Tech chase into the corner. And that's the strong suit of ZSS, right? We've seen it so often with Mars where you get any opening and you're just in the corner, right? I mean, that's the strength of that tech chase, so. Yep. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of a combination here coming for Death Spade. The forward smash, Ooh. a bit of a read, but the bat's within and the bat Ooh. there. Wow, that will actually take this talk of a Death Spade. Mars was ready for the bats within. That's what's most impressive. Yeah, not able to get the tech Death Spade. Unfortunate situation there. Falls out of the jab and able to grab ledge once again, but still stuck in the corner of the forward air. Trades with the side B. Mars is still alive. Yep, still alive for the moment. 104. Not too shabby. The up smash comes through. Some more damage here for Mars. The up air sharking the disadvantage and catching the shield on the return. Once again, a grab for Mars. There's an up throw just to get more stage control. Mars wow. is just holding down this Pokeball with the F tilt and immediately running back to stage and a grab <laughs> once again. This neutral is out of this world right now. Oh. I'm loving the advantage. The back air takes it. No side B for you. And Mars makes it a 2-0 lead. Just so talented, man. This guy is crazy. The stage control was so impressive from Mars there. Constantly sharking, constantly taking control of the stage, making sure that if you land, you're getting grabbed. If you're in the air, you're getting hit. So no matter what Deathpaid did there, Mars looked like he had an option ready to cover. 100%. It's been so good so far. Mars, really, even in adversity, has been able to keep the composure and find those stocks. I mean, we saw it with the, the bats within on that last game, but... Mm -hmm. The reactions as well. The reactions, man. The recognition. Yep. Even. Just absolutely ready for whatever Deathspade has available. But Deathspade not out of the woods yet. Still can make this comeback. We've seen it before. Yep, Don't know if we'll see it against Mars, though. <laughs> Seasoned player, like you said, he's been in this situation so many times. Bayonetta, once again, the choice, of course, the ZSS for Mars. Yep. Nothing Death new Spade. under the sun. Death Spade has his fates in his hands. Is he going to be able to take it? But on Hollow Bash, a new stage, new situation. With the uppy here, starts it off with some pretty good damage. 23. Yep, double witch twist into that up air to find that. Bit of percentage here. Once again, a connection. The forward air, one, two, three, will find its mark. The down air, once again, and even comboing into it with the up air. But okay, a little bit of a duck there from Death Spade to avoid some of the damage from Mars. And we're just seeing this scrap again, Archmage. Yeah, time and time again, I feel like Death Spade has played a little bit more confidently in the advantage, but Mars has just been able to get away from it so often. And now, stuck on that platform, right? Just trying to find any raw aerial and the punish off the witch time. Oh, back and forth once again. Mars reeling a little bit. Death Spade so far in the lead, but for how long? We've seen Mars be in these situations before. Lots of jabs coming through. That's some damage here for Death Spade and looking for a back air on this ledge, but Mars able to avoid it with that flip kick. 
Yeah, maybe even trying to cover a normal flip kick there, but you're not fighting a normal ZSS, right? You're fighting an absolute legend in the game. Exactly right. Best Ooh. DSS for a reason. This is true. I like that spacing, though. Good back air. Able to find the first stack, the first stalk. And the crowd going wild for Death Space. He's got a lot of fans in the crowd right yeah, now. Yeah, it's definitely an underdog situation, right? Everybody knows Mars, but have you seen Death Spade take a game off of Mars' DSS? We're definitely looking to see it right now as Death Spade continues to climb with this damage. Yeah, looking really clean right now. This is kind of seeing a little bit of the, the reminiscence of what we've seen in the previous games with Death Spade, but... Yep. Feeling confident, gets a little bit of that poke under the stage, and now even more damage. Here oh, on the train! The reversal from Mars, the up air comes through. That combo was not air tight, and Mars lets you know with that kill. That's that SDI, right? No other type of SDI will get you out of that, but Mars is, is amazing awareness there. Back the forward forward again, yeah. There's the up smash. Doesn't find much more off of it, though. The forward air one will connect. Back here once again, Mars slowly beginning to chip away at this stock. Death Spade lead is not too secure at this current moment. There's the forward air off of ledge. Aggression from Death Spade once again. Looking to find the back air, sharking a little bit, but here comes Mars once again with that forward air. Man, and Mars has been playing a near textbook game so far in avoiding a lot of these bands. And the tools oh. for the down air mix up finds it, and Death Spade surprises Mars a little bit. And Mars doesn't avoid that uh, down air from Death Spade, however. Death Spade up two shocks to one for the current moment. There's now Smash holding that shield just long enough. It gets 0.5% off the Nair hold. That's that's pretty funny. That's just massive. It might make a difference. Tiny we'll bit see. of chip damage. It all matters, though, for Bayonetta, right? Since she does matters. struggle to kill. It's true. Oof. Not able to get caught. Death Spade is playing oh. super evasive here. Maybe expected that to punish, but... Okay. Not giving Fair it to one. Him. Mars, but the back air comes through, 54%. Mars beginning to close this lead, slowly but surely, catching up to Death Spade. There's an up smash, but the bats within will avoid two aerials from Mars. Whoa, oh, the, the tech chase! The roll read was so smart there, catches the jump out of shield as well, and just continues this pressure here. Mars does not want to let this go to game four. Wants to seal this right here, right now, but Death Spade might make that not a reality. Oh, the down air gets the bats within, but still gets caught by the landing hitbox. Okay, the Witch Twist and the ABK trying to get the Witch Time going. There's a Zare. Watch out, Mars sharking with that back air. Still in disadvantage, but Mars makes it look like he's winning with the way he's playing. Really? That's so true. Oh, and the back air not going to connect for the death speed. Oh! The back. <gasps> wow, and I'm sure Mars was not expecting that situation. First hit of the up tilt into the tech chase situation. That is such a weird hitbox. It sent him so low that he wasn't ready to tech it. And Deathbade was actually ready with the reaction, finding that back air and taking a game off of Mars, not letting it be a 3-0. I'm not sure anyone's ready to take that one, to be quite no, honest. No, that was a tough one. That was a rough situation, but still super close game. Mars is still looking confident, still looking clean, but Deathbade has a little bit more hope, right? A little ray of sunshine for Deathbade here, so. Yep. See what they can do. Mars. Thinking about their next counter pick here, what stage we want to go to. Small Battlefield might be the choice. You see Deathbade breathing in. Tekken music once again. You know you like this, I, Archmage. Have I heard this one before? Bit Crusher. I don't know if I've heard this one. I don't think I've heard this one before. This is a unique song here. Mars wants to be different. Mars wants to be different. He's diff He is different. He might have the unappreciated taste. He doesn't want to be different. He is different. Yeah, he is different. <laughs> <laughs> he is also built differently. We've seen it with the 2-1 lead, lead here, but still, Despe not going to let that happen too easily here. He's going to be indifferent. 77% right off the bat. Despe is a large combo. The bat's within. Mars still ready for it, though, despite that invulnerability coming through. Able to get that up E, not getting caught by the jab. Oh, I have heard this song. Okay, it's, the, it's a funky It's crash. the beginning, it's the beginning. I, I didn't recognize it at first, but this song is amazing, but... And now oh. Smash not going to connect in a scary situation. Hello? Oh, we're back! Hello! <laughs> Wanted to take a good look at the players. What's up, players? Hey, some good-looking players, though. You oh, honestly, look, yeah. With the downer mix-up there, Death Spade playing really explosively compared to the last few games you've seen. Oh, and the footstool down here takes it! Death Spade with the lead in this game four. Death Spade pulling out all the stops here to try and defeat Mars. Mars, we've seen them go down like this before, and like I said, the game plan from Mars doesn't always change. Oh, and recognizing that the mash was there, but we're gonna get the reversal Woo! situation anyway, and making sure to run through Death Spade so we can get the reverse up B to kill off the left side. Very optimal for Mars. Great side switch there. 
And now trying to get any hit here. Despade finds a side B, but not early enough. Oh. Percent. The footstool downers have been crazy this game so far. Mm -hmm. I see that adaptation here from Despade. Hasn't been using that footstool down air at all, but we've seen it twice already in game number four. Just pulling out tricks out of the bag. For sure. Halloween was just yesterday, so we'll yeah. see if but how many get a little treats here. How many tricks do you have, though? Because Mars is looking like, once again, trying to bring this game back. We see the damage come through for Death Spade, but the problem is, is getting the kill. It's always getting the kill for Bayonetta, because Mars can take all this damage, but if you can't take the stock, it does not matter. This is true. Uh -oh. oh, and that's going to do it, though. The Witch Time catches the Zare, and Mars? On the back foot now. Yep, Mars 100% on the back foot here. Spade has been playing excellently here. That heel slide not going to connect though. Mars finding a tech chase situation, but the up air is just slightly missed time. There's an air, and once again, the tech not working out. This stage has not been helping out Mars so far. Oh, and the down air is a good mix up there from Mars. Finds the forward as well, sends Death Spade off stage, and now on the ledge, but playing it safe does not want to get oh. hit by that side B. That yeah. was dangerous. Saw the tech chase situation might come through after the Zare. Death Spade luckily DIing it correctly. Down smash. Once again, not connecting for Mars. I don't feel like we've seen very many down smashes connect for Mars. Death Spade doing a great job of avoiding them. There's a Zare, but you can't confirm from that far away. Okay, I like that, but it's not enough stun. That was dangerous there, and now Death Spade gets a full combo. Only 54, but still any percent is good here for Death Spade. Oh. The hitbox of the flip kick was given away. It has a ton of lag on it. It's basically like using a smash attack. And now Deathspade once again climbing. Woo! The back air is not going to be enough for Mars. Edge guard situation, but able to snap the ledge. There's a parry into the side. Oh beat. my! Great punish from Mars. What recognition there. Fantastic stuff from Mars. Making it a last stock situation. Mars only needs one to win this set. But okay. Deathspade is still looking good. The percent is still in his favor. There's damage coming through from Deathspade. The Witch Twist, the reverse up air, 116 on the Mars. Snap the ledge, and he catches the flip kick Woo! with the back air, and Deathspade will bring it to a game five. Oh my lord. We're seeing a game five of this set. I, If you would have showed me the first two games and asked me if it was going game five, I wouldn't have told you anything, but Deathspade has turned up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Archmage. This is a dangerous situation to be in. We need to lock in here if you're Mars. You do not want the reverse 3-0 to happen. You do not want it to be you. Hollow Bastion will be the choice here for Mars in game five. Will it be enough? Can Mars stop the reverse 3-0 or will Death Spade succeed? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right here. For my keen viewers, if you can tell me where MK Leo was in the crowd, I'll be very surprised. It's like, <laughs> where, it's like where's Waldo? Where's I spotted Waldo? him. <laughs> I spotted him, Leo's in the crowd. Now you can't see him now, but you had to have seen it before. So. Yep. Here we go, game five situation. Woo! Mars starting things off with an up smash, 33%. We might see oh, yeah. Mars take, take it a little bit slow here. I'm not seeing it right now, though. He is being <laughs> very aggressive running yeah. in with that rapid jab. Mars is definitely playing the opposite of what you expected, and it's working out beautifully right now. Already 78% on Death Spade, and just not a, a single bit of that like fear in Mars' body. Not even a little bit, not right? Not even Just a little bit. So much confidence here. And that's exactly what you want to be in in a game five. You're exactly right, Archmage. We see Mars with the aggression, with these smart callouts, catching Death Spade in the air with his forward air. We've seen that two or three times now so far in stock one, where Mars just catches something that Death Spade is doing in the air. There's the up air out of the combo once again. Mars with the lead for now, but Death Spade can make this up. Oh. Hey, which uh, which oh, Bats within it. Yes, Bats within. That's the word I was looking for. I got for. you, but still not going to get a huge punish. They're only 70% on Mars. I thought that was going to be a bigger punish in the side piece. Such a risky option in uh -oh. neutral, but it's going to pay dividends here. Such good percent there for Despade. Despade equalizing the percent. There's the forward throw from Despade once again. Edge guard situation now. Looking for the ledge trap. Trying to find this back air. The up to Woo! the back air. Despade finds first stock in game five. The crowd comes alive at the potential upset here. The uppy is safe, but gets a falling up air. Mars still can find this stock with the side B, but it's shielded in the up smash. Catches the jump, and now out. we're even. Good call out there from Mars. Yes, fantastic call out from Mars. Finding Death Spade jumping a little bit too much. There's the grab. Up throw into forward air. Okay, tried to reset into the up tilt. Finds a grab once again. Good stuff from Death Spade. Catching Mars, shielding a little bit. There's the jab. One, two, three. Finds it again. Oh, that grab just barely Ooh. missed, and Deathspade returns with a grab of his own. Not going to fall for the trick there. Oh. Able to shield the full up but the ABK on the ground again is so scary. But the down air to mix up, and the side B catches it. Okay, good DI, though, for Mars to get out of that situation. Okay, we're, we still have our jump. Mars planking just a little bit to try and avoid this edge guard. 
from Deathspade. We're going low oh, no. once again. Well, we're tossed up back onto the stage. Marge trying to get the hitbox on that flip kick, but it's not going to be enough just yet. Uh oh. Ooh. Still holding on to the stock right now. Deathspade trying to find that neutral win, but the back air whiff punishes the side B. And Mars is looking clean right now. Oh, that's an up tilt. The back air is not enough. Not from coast to coast. Mars looking to snap the ledge and does so with the side B. Barely avoiding that aerial from Deathspade. And now Deathspade boost kicking back. The fully charged up smash. Not going to do it. Not going to shield poke. Now back to neutral. Oh, Whoa! the down air though. Deathspade now has only one stock to take to make a huge upset here. And the side B is not going to connect. The shield and the parry. He is locked in right now. The up tilt combo is huge. Going to go for a back here. Gets that good damage. And Marge just has to hold the stage. Uh -oh. Has to try to find a kill, but nothing so far. Deathspade is racking up that damage at a rapid rate. More damage. Deathspade getting back to center stage. Looking for a back throw. Mars tosses Deathspade off the left level, but we've seen him be so comfortable. Once again, the throw. The up throw is not enough. Good DI to that corner from Deathspade. And now, ledge trap situation for Mars. The angled F tilt isn't going to find its mark. ABK once again. Oh, the, the bats within saves him from the up air. In the back here on the shield is a scary situation. Mars has to keep his composure. And 157 up throws not going to kill. It's not enough, Archmage. It's not enough. Mars can't find this connection. Are we going to die off the top? No, no we are not. We're still alive. 168 here on the Deathspade. Mars really no the forward throw. Is that enough? It's not. It won't kill. He's still and alive. And Mars rolls on. The oh, side B into no. the back there. Coast to ghost. That's going to do it. Deathspade takes it game five in a massive upset. Wow. Holy moly. The crowd pops off and Deathspade calm and collected, hugging their friend. Feeling pretty good about that win over Mars. And Mars, wow. looking like a content creator. Yeah. <laughs> Our favorite content creator. But Shout out to Mars. Love that content. Fell into the hands of Deathspade there. I mean, once you get into that, like, blender of Bayonetta, man, it can be really hard to get out, especially with a character like Zero Suit Samus. I mean, the kills just weren't coming. We saw a lot of good options from uh, from Mars, but Deathspade played such a good, patient, advantage, neutral, everything just super well aware of the situation, shielded every kill option, was spot dodging almost every grab, and it was just such a good game. Man. What a set. What, what a set. set. A reverse 3-0 from Deathspade as well. Very, oh very Oh my impressive. god, that's true. It was a reverse 3-0.